Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games. And today we're going to take a second, first look at Attack at Dawn North Africa. So yesterday, we went through the first tutorial, and I really liked it. I really liked the systems, I like how this game's set up. Uh, was really impressed with it, and uh, the developer was kind enough to drop by and said, Hey Dojo, uh, you know, you actually played that first tutorial in real time. Uh, you didn't play it in WeGo. Well, I wonder, I, I talked about how much I love WeGo, and I thought, well, let's play the second tutorial in the WeGo system. And what am I talking about? Well, if we go down here to options, you can see here time mode, real time, turn based is the WeGo system, right? So, you know, that was a small little scenario, I guess, it didn't kind of dawn on me that I was hitting pause and play. Well, that is like, you know, sort of a pausable real time strategy experience. The turn base, though, is the WeGo. So let's go through the second tutorial and find out a little bit more about this game, because like I said, I really liked it and I, I think we may play some more of it on the channel. So let's go through the tutorial together and we'll apply that and go to tutorial and let's go to tutorial number two and as you can see here we are in the Nile Delta all right and it looks like we're going to be playing the allies or the Brits uh we'll be moving down the road here it looks like we're moving towards an Axis fortified location a little bit I mean I'm just guessing but that looks like a box and then it looks like uh, minefields around here so we'll have to cross over I was going to say a river but that is the river in Egypt the Nile uh, that we'll have to go across uh, interesting. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have two different groups here that we'll be trying to push on this location. Um, we've got objectives one, offensive allied. Okay, one objective. Uh, in the second tutorial, we'll begin. We will explain more advanced concepts. These are battle prep, victory conditions, supply boxes and forts, minefields, bridges, artillery, headquarters, and air force. Okay, well that's covering quite a bit. I like it. Uh, difficulty normal will be the allies. And you can see over here on strength, uh, we've got quite an infantry advantage in this uh, tutorial scenario. Uh, tanks about even where we've got a few less than the axis anti-tank guns which I assume that's what that represents uh, 33 for the axis we don't have any uh, but this is our artillery 144 to 36 so that looks like quite an advantage uh, to show off the artillery in this game and then it looks like we have complete air superiority here 144 allied planes none for the axis okay let's get going and find out about all these things down here on the map and like I said I think this just looks great it looks like a, a beautiful board game and you know I love those so kind of zoom back here and I like this when you zoom back then it just switches to these NATO counters and you can very quickly ascertain what you have out here on the map looks like we've got a recon group uh, <laughs> that's the I, it's kind of an inside joke when I say Hussars. I know it's not pronounced that way. Uh, sorry last time if I, I said that and I, I realized uh, you guys probably don't know my inside jokes. Uh, that is the 11th. Okay, it's not the Hussars. It's, uh, okay. it's uh, also the 1st Royal Tank Regiment out here. We've got 1st King's Royal Rifle Corps, 2nd uh, Rifle Brigade here, and then we see the artillery for the first time going through the game. 7th Armored Division Artillery. And one thing I noticed last time that I really like here is you can go to the, you know, to the command here and, you know, get the group of units by clicking right down here. So you can see all of 7th Armored. We also have an airfield here at Cairo. Okay, excellent. So that's I, assuming where our aircraft will fly out of. And almost certainly that's true. It looks like we've got some Blenheim 4s down here and some recon aircraft. Cool. Okay. Um, we've also got 4th Indian Infantry Division. You can see them here. We've got the 4-7th Rashput Regiment. Okay. We've got the 1-6th Rashputana Rifles. We've got, uh, who's here? The second Cameron Highlanders. We've got Highlanders out here, guys. Uh, and then it looks like we've got another artillery, 4th Indian Infantry uh, Division Artillery. Okay, cool. One thing to keep in mind with the uh, artillery, again, this game's got awesome pop-ups, so it tells you everything you need to know. But if you look at the combat factors down here, if it, let's go to an infantry unit first. If we go here, 
these first two numbers are soft attack power and hard attack power. Then it's defensiveness and movement, okay? But when we go to the artillery, this is the artillery power. Uh, is that right? Strength of artillery strike, you can see down there. And then this is the range, okay? So we've got a range of six on this artillery, on this artillery, same thing. Got a range of six, firepower is a three. So that's how that, you know, is different. You can also, well, let's let's just read through here. Um, oh, by the way, it is clear, we've got just a slight bit of wind, looks like a 2% chance of precipitation. Now, my understanding is playing this turn-based or we go, we're going to move forward an hour each time we turn the turn. So right now it's 430 hours. Uh, sunset is at 1905. And so got a long time where it's, you know, this is first thing in the morning, make me a cup of coffee and let's go. Um, Welcome to the second tutorial. Here you will learn how to keep an eye on your supplies. That's great. I'm really glad they modeled supply here. Uh, to me, it's almost worthless to play a game like this if they don't do supplies, right? Um, because it's so important. A very important aspect of desert warfare, we will also teach you how to use forts, boxes, and minefields to upgrade your defense. Finally, you will learn how to employ your artillery and air force assets. Excellent, I can't wait. Let's go next. <clears throat> Excuse me. Most scenarios allow the offensive player, which is us as the uh, allies, to redeploy his forces. You can place them anywhere within the unshaded part of the map. Okay, well, let's zoom in here and we can see what's unshaded. Well, all of this is uh, sort of unshaded. I mean, this is a little bit different terrain, but it's unshaded when compared to the darker, right? Here's the darker stuff. Uh, unshaded, well, hell, we could get, what, could we cross the river? Uh, to redeploy a single unit, select the unit and hold the left mouse button pressed while dragging it to a new location. Yeah, not going to allow us to go over there. Okay, that is considered shaded in the sand. If I was going to say something to the developer, I'd make that all a consistent color because it looks like we could drag out here, right? Can we? No. But, yeah, we can drag here. All right, so we, all of these hexes, I'm just holding down the left mouse button, and you can see all of the different hexes we can deploy to. Uh, I think I'm going to keep the uh, 11th right there. I do think I'll scoot the artillery up. I don't see any advantage of having it there. We may as well get more things in range if we can. So let's go right there. Okay. And then we've got the armor here. Would we want to go up and around maybe? Can we Can we put it up there? No, we can't go up to, call, uh, what is that, call yub? Uh, let's actually, though, pull the armor down here so it's ready to go over. And you can see all the terrain here. We've got the road over the river. We've got the bridge there. We've got railroad. You can see the objective here. Now, we know there's one objective in this scenario, and that's it. We've got what appear to be minefields uh, out here. I'm sure we'll talk more about that. And then we've got the denial uh, right here. Okay. And then down this way, we've got a bridge across the Nile there, roadways, we got an urban area. Uh, okay, well, we'll get into more of this. Let's just keep following along. So if you just click on this during the deployment phase, you can move these around uh, as you wish. Pull them here, here, there. I mean, there's no reason, I don't think, to have these things sitting back here. We're almost certainly going to go try to go across the river. Uh, I don't, are we worried about a counterattack? I, I, I don't know. Now, we can't put this in there, meaning we're, we're at our stack limit there, but let's put it there. Uh, the artillery here, I think that's totally fine. Down here, do we want to change anything? Uh, maybe. Let's scoot up there. And can we go there? Nope. You can only put these two in there. Uh, I'm not sure exactly about the stacking yet, uh, but that's a pretty easy way to figure it out. Well, I can't put that in there, and I can't put that in there, so uh, that must be the stacking limit. Um, okay, cool. Um, I really like this down here where you can go to the group if you want to or to the airfield. Uh, to redeploy a group, select the group. Well, good thing I was talking about that. Let's select 7th Armored. So it selects everything and drag the formation on the map with the right mouse button. Okay, so let's do this. And there you go. You see that kind of block out. Tell you what, I bet you this is going to be easier to see down here 
Um, and if you double click on these, it takes you right to it and centers them. Uh, so let's look at fourth Indian. And let's say we wanted to redeploy this as a group. You can see the shadows there, and that's by unit type. So you see the rifle here. It's going to move an infantry unit there. That is artillery, that uh, explosion there, and it would move the artillery there. So you can move these around as a group if you want to. And it looks like it's pretty intuitive about, you know, what would you want to have where. It's not going to put the artillery in the front line. It didn't look like. Okay, so you can do that by group. Victory conditions. To win the scenario, the offensive player must capture and hold all objectives. Open the stat screen, which is F5, to see who controls which objective okay well so here's some stats uh, capture objectives captured zero of one okay well there's one and we saw it on the map we can also look at our casualties and see our percentage of losses any reinforcements down here uh, press escape to close okay to see who controls which objective. This condition is checked at the end of each day. If the scenario has reached the final day and the condition has not been fulfilled, the defending player wins. Well, that makes sense. All right, next. Units need supplies, fuel and ammo. Okay, so I noticed this when I was just kind of poking around a little bit. Those are the two supplies, fuel and ammo. There's no like uh, food or, you know, cigarettes or something. It's uh, fuel and ammo. Those are the two in order to move and fight. Each unit stores a certain amount of supplies and is replenished from the nearest supply source. Now open the supply view. Okay, let's do that. F2. Do I have to be down here to do that? F2. Uh, do we need to hit start first, I wonder? Now open the supply view and press and hold space. Yeah, I think we need to hit start here. Okay, so we've deployed that. Did it tell me to do that before? Uh, when we did the battle? But yes, it did. To redeploy a group, select on the group. I I just skip past that. When you are satisfied with deployment, click start. Okay, we're satisfied. Oh, okay. And there come the Italians. So we see down here the Italians have what appears to be some infantry and some, is that anti-tank and infantry? Okay, Italian anti-tank and infantry. And then they also have more infantry here. So we have two Italian infantry forces. I don't see anything down here across from the Indian division. Uh, okay, so that started that up. Now we're in supply view. So again, supply view is F2. Uh, and I click on there again, supply view. All right. Let's go to that again. Uh, and press and hold space. Oh, nice. All right. So here you see that's a supply source, a British supply source. You see the fuel can there. And then you see, okay, well, let's just read it. To see each unit's supply path, these are the paths that supply trucks take from the nearest supply sources to individual units. Click on one of your units, and the info panel will show the unit's supply information. Hover over the panel to see more details. Oh, okay, so we've got a British supply source here. You can see which way this travels down the roads to get to the units. That's awesome. That's great. Okay, now it says click on it. Oh, I was already clicked on an individual one. Um, and so now we, well, I say individual one, we see both units here, 1st Royal Tank Regiment and the 11th uh, uh, Hussars. <laughs> uh, I, I just, sometimes I like to make myself laugh. Um, okay, click on one of your units. The info panel will show the unit's supply information. Okay, here it is. Oh, and uh, I mean, man, the pop-ups in this game are great. ETA is estimated time of arrival. Uh, RTT is round trip time. Okay, we'll get to those. I'm sure they're going to cover it. But you can see here, uh, fuel supply, remaining and maximum fuel. So eight of eight, eight and eight there. Ammo supply, remaining and maximum, eight and eight. Okay, so you have a maximum of what they can take. Yeah, and then the 11th here has 16 and 16 and four and four on the ammo. Cool, okay. Uh, next. Estimated time of arrival. Okay, so that's that ETA. Estimated time of arrival, indeed. Uh, is the time until the unit receives another batch of supplies. So here we see in two. Uh, when that time arrives, the unit checks for a clear supply path 
to its supply source, avoiding impassable terrain and enemy units. If there is a path, unit replenishes its fuel and ammo. Otherwise, it remains unsupplied until the next supply check. Okay. Round trip time is the time between two unit resupplies. If the unit moves away from the supply, for, supply source, RTT increases and unit receives supplies less and less frequently. Okay, so the farther round trip time is how far it takes, you know, to get to here and back, I guess. So it's going to take two hours to get there and back. That will increase as you know, the further we move away from the supply source, that makes sense. In two quote unquote turns, so really in two hours, is the next time they check. Now, I like that because ultimately that would allow you with the tanks, let's say, to move around and for one or two turns to be out of supply path as long as you're back in within that ETA, right? When it does the check. I like it. Okay, let's turn off F2 and go to next. Boxes and forts are fortified hexes which provide defense and attack bonuses to the occupying units. Boxes are temporary fortifications built by occupying units while forts are large permanent concrete emplacements found around Tobruk and Bardia. Okay, now press and hold F4 to hide all units and see the terrain under them. All right, take a look at the Italian position. There are two boxes there. One is immediately left of the Cairo Bridge, and the other one is down the road towards the objective. Take that into consideration while making your plan of attack. Okay, F4, hold it down. Okay, so these uh, hotkeys like that, you got to hold them down. So that is considered a box, all right? So boxes are temporary fortifications built by occupying units. Okay, there and there we put the units back on so while they're sitting here i assume they're in, it's essentially entrenching right um okay excellent minefields minefields reduce speed and combat value of the crossing units you can see that the enemy position is protected by a minefield you could move units over it but it will reduce your speed and combat value to clear the minefield select a unit press minefield command and select the adjacent minefield hex so we're going to have to be next to it um it takes several hours to clear one hex Okay, good to know. And you have a limited number of clear minefield actions per day. It gets refilled each day. All right, let's click on a unit. We look down here, minefield. Okay, so we have two of those, it looks like. So we can do two of that per day per this unit. Uh, got it. All right, and you can see this is kind of like a tiller game in that you can flip back and forth which one of these you're actually on. Right, so it's highlighted here now. You can see the highlighting. Anyway, so these minefields, we need to be next to them. Let's go to this other one. Two and two. Uh, I don't know. The artillery, does that have one? Okay, it says it does. Uh, okay, so we can clear two of those per unit per day. Uh, bridges. Pontoon bridges can be built and removed during bridge command. To build a bridge, your unit must be adjacent to the river hex. Well, we are. Uh, have an available bridge action and at least one available pontoon bridge. When you build a bridge, the number of available bridges is reduced by one. In this tutorial, you can use existing bridges, but you can also build an additional one to help you in crossing the Nile. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's click on a unit. And you, I just saw this last time. There's the bridge. Build or remove a bridge. If active, click button to cancel. Number shows available actions, and the number in parentheses is the number of available bridges. So we can do one this turn, and then we can do one total, right? I mean, it's only got one pontoon bridge total, and we could do one, you know, now if we wanted to, it's available. Uh, so, you know, the reason it's different, right? Let's say we had two and we clicked on this and we built a pontoon. Well, then it would say we couldn't do any more this turn, but we would still have one bridge left for later, right? Okay, uh, fine, let's build one. I, why not? Tell you what, why don't we do it down here? Well, we're not facing anything there. Well, let's take this one unit. Let's take the first King's Royal Rifle. And let's have them build a bridge. All right, so now that's turned red. 
oh, cool. So when I just hover over this, it shows me where that could be. Let's do it. Let's build it right there. Oh, okay. So I left clicked and now it's going to start building a bridge there. And you can see down here active and we've now got zero that we could do this turn because we're already doing one and we have one bridge left. So I, I assume that's because we can cancel this uh, and it would still have that one bridge left. I assume when it's built, then we'll have zero bridges left. Excellent. Really nice mechanic there. Artillery. Artillery is a very important and powerful type of unit. Yes, it is. And it, it inflicts damage at a range of several hexes, but also causes unit disorganization. When an enemy unit is under artillery fire, it becomes disorganized. It moves with half the speed and has half of the original attack value. To order an artillery strike, select an artillery unit and press the artillery strike command or hotkey A and select the target. The bombardment will last for about an hour, reducing the enemy morale and making him disorganized. Okay, so we're on this unit now, 7th Armored Division Artillery. If we go down here, that's a pretty obvious artillery strike. Now it says three up here, so I'm going to assume we can only fire these guns three times. Look at me, uh, how smart. Uh, let's click that okay and now you can see it's got a bullseye hex next to our cursor yep and it puts it right over this well i think that's definitely where we want to fire right so left click there and we have put artillery fire on that and if we go back here it says firing and that goes down to two now i assume we can take that off yep and it goes back to three uh and took that firing off let's put it back on though okay let's click on that boy that's easy Holy smokes. Okay, I love it. Uh, the bombardment will last for about an hour. Okay. Headquarters. Each group has one unit designated as headquarters. You can recognize it by the white flag symbol on the unit counter right here. Um, that headquarters is usually the group's artillery unit. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, I mean, you know, usually this kind of divisional artillery uh, would be sitting with the headquarters. So, okay, that's fine. But you can redesignate it at the beginning of each day via the headquarters command in the command panel. Um, well, we'll figure that out as we go. It's possible we just don't have that right now, right? Uh, or maybe, you know, we've already started the day, so we probably can't do that. We'll look for that later. Headquarters has a command range of several hexes. Range is shown in the info panel. Okay. Oh, it's this. Eight. Headquarters. This unit contains a divisional brigade headquarters. Number shows the headquarters command range in the number of hexes. Excellent. Uh, if a unit is outside this range, it suffers reduced combat effectiveness. Exceptions are the recon units, which can operate freely outside this range. So like the 11th, okay? Uh, excellent. Air Force. Air Force is represented by airfields, air units, and air missions. Air units are based on airfields and can, ex can execute missions. Strike, recon, and ferry. At the bottom of the screen is an airfield panel showing a list of your friendly airfields. Radio. Uh, click on an airfield button to see its details in the info panel. Okay, Cairo. Bombers, one of one. Recon, one of one. Okay. Uh, airfield status is shown with the following color codes. Green, one or more air units are ready for action. That looks green to me. Yellow, no air units are ready for action. White, air units have executed their daily number of missions. Three per day. Now that's interesting. Okay. Transparent, no air units are on the airfield. Okay. Air Force. To order a mission, select an airfield and one or more air units. Then select a command, strike, ferry, or recon, and the mission target. The air mission will take off, fly towards the target, and execute the mission and return. While over its target, while over target, it is fired upon by the enemy and can be damaged or destroyed. If damaged, it returns to the airfield to be repaired in one of the following days. Each day, one air unit is repaired. Okay. Uh, cool. Well, let's go to the airfield. It's down here now. Can we do anything here? Ferry. Let's click on the recon. Okay, there we go. This is ferry. This is recon. Obviously, it cannot bomb. So let's do recon. 
and let's just go over the objective. I, I mean, I, I don't know this, you know, inside and out yet. So we're going to have that. And now it says it's got a mission. Oh, man, this is really good systems, guys. Uh, now, we know there's anti-aircraft here, right? Italian anti-air. So why don't we go bomb these guys? And that was easy. I just hit the, the strike. I go there. And now it says that's got a mission. Okay, and it can do three per day. It can do three missions per day. Excellent. Okay. Uh, okay. Can I don't think we can move because we're just in the setup phase here, but we could give air. Uh, but let's make sure that's true. So let's hide that because I think we're done. Next. Attack the enemy, and that's that. Okay, well, maybe it'll show us a little bit more as we move forward. So I'm going to keep it up here. Uh, what else do we have here? Turn-based mode. Yep, that's what we want. Counter view. Again, they've got this other view, but I, I prefer the counters. Uh, grid hexes. Yep, let's keep those on. Uh, you see the date, the day, clear, 430. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. I think we're all good. Let's go next turn and start to see this WeGo system. <laughs> nice. All right, we're running. Yeah, look at that recon. Start to to see some stuff out here we did a strike there uh you could see the bombs dropping in the sand a little bit and back they go we do a little recon there did anything get hurt i'm not sure i, I we're gonna see some kind of wow look at this guy recon holy cow i love it so our recon plane is still down here uh because he is doing a lot of recon uh okay well we've uncovered quite a few more italians here we're building oh this is great you can see the bridge here 13 percent on the build right now it's impassable you see there uh okay awesome um well now it's 500 hours so i think maybe that prep stage was the first 30 minutes now i think it goes hourly but i i could be wrong about that i mean we haven't played this we go but man oh man i like this so far okay we've got two fires left i mean of course i think we're going to keep hitting uh see they're disorganized now uh, maybe I should have waited till we moved out, then disorganized them potentially, uh, but I'm not going to cry over that now. All right, let's send our recon out um, and get them on the move. So halt, you know, we could do all of these different things, but I don't think there's anything really to do there. Uh, we're going to move the recon group out down this road. Now we said we had some infantry here. I kind of want to go around these guys. So let's go here to, nope, not that way. And how do we do that? Well, we do, I believe it's control. And that way, nope, maybe it's shift. Hold on, hold on. Shift, shift. No, it wants to go up there. I thought I could uh, control it that way. Hold on. Let's go there. Uh, do I have to drag it? Wants to keep going that way. Uh, I can't remember. Is it control or shift? We learned. Ah, there it is. It's control. That's control. Okay, so we're gonna bring these guys around uh, this here. It's in the middle of a fort, right? And then I want to take this other infantry that's not currently building the bridge. And how do I get on second rifle brigade? Unit name. Okay, we have the bridge builder, got it. Then to flip over to the other unit, give me one second. I just want to make sure I get this right. Ah, uh, okay, I had, to, I had to remember yesterday. When it's in a stack like this, you have to go to split. You have to go to split. Um, and so that's the rifle. And there, now this is the other rifle brigade, right? So when I hit split, uh, that way you can just move them as a group, you know, when they're in the same hex, unless you hit split. Uh, now we can move these separately. So this unit, though, I want to come up and try to take this position. Can we move there? Yeah. And then, so we would be in this hex. Do I just want to go ahead and target these guys and go infantry on infantry? I think I do. So let's hit target and go there. 
All right, so we've got the one group building a bridge, which was probably a waste, let's be honest, but I just wanted to try out the system. Um, and then let's split these two off. Split. Oh, I gave them both an order before. Okay, let's, um, let's undo that order. Now we split, got it. Okay, so now we can take our recon. I'll hold control down. We'll go there and there. Nope. I guess I got to draw it. Let's do it this way. Uh, control. All right. And now, con nope. I will get this down. It's new. It's new. Be, be patient with me. Uh, okay, it's on that unit. Go there. Go there. All right, and then, and then there. Okay, so you had to just kind of drag it around there. Sorry, I, I just, you know, it's a new system to me too. Um, okay, and then I think the first royal tank. Now we've got anti-tank here. We saw that. I, I said anti-aircraft when we ran the recon mission. I was wrong. That's anti-tank. Um, I think I want to get the the 11th by here first before we move the tank out the the royal tank regiment out i just don't want them to catch a lot of anti-tank fire right off the bat and i'd like to get the infantry around here and get them tied up first um i also then let's take the artillery let's hit them again okay artillery artillery oh it's already firing Got it. Okay, we already put that order in. Let's come down here with the infantry. Now, do we... Now, see, this is what I was talking about with split. We can just give this a move order all on its own. We don't... And I think I'm going to bring them all the way down the road. Do I want to go that far? Why don't we... Well, let's see. I don't think they can get this far in a turn. But let's get them going this way as a group. And then this infantry will follow along behind to there and then the artillery i'll move into town for now and then we'll really get them moving uh hopefully later so we've got the recon out and about all right if we go here you can see the blenheims need to reload okay cool and the recon's on a mission good lord i love this system this is awesome uh well done guys seriously this is a great combat system okay uh all good let's make sure our artillery it's firing we've got uh the 11th out here moving we've got infantry coming across we've got one building a bridge probably a waste there uh we're waiting with the tanks to see you know until the infantry gets in here and the recon gets past honestly the recon may get hurt by this anti-tank but let's see let's go to next turn and see what happens and you can see there goes the recon moving around he's really giving us a lot of information there goes the 11th across the bridge okay doesn't look like we got uh, that was artillery that hit them there <laughs> this recon he okay we see the infantry move up here hopefully he's going to get across the bridge you can see the time clicking by gosh darn it that's great so it's now 537 537 hours 540 will they get, even get into an attack here we'll see 547 548 Okay. Oh, I should look down here in the south. What's going on down here? Yeah, our guy's moving up the road. Uh, we're going to come around this way to the objective. And it is now 600 hours. Does not look like these guys got into it uh, this time. Uh, wow. Okay, great. Let's go to our airfield first. Uh, reload and reload. Okay, so we're still reloading. They've still got two missions left that they can do today. I think, I mean, we've got complete air superiority. We saw that early on. So I think we'll keep running the recon missions. Um, this artillery needs to, you know, follow along here. I wish it actually wasn't quite so far behind. But let's drag that out here. It's got to click on it first. Let's get it going down there. And then I'll hit control. Yep, see, you got to drag it. You got to drag it, Chris. Okay, let's go to there. 
and then drag it around to there. <laughs> I'm not doing something right there. Control? Okay, to there. Uh, so artillery will get going there. I'm still going to move these guys as a group. I want them together. They actually moved quite a bit further than I thought they might. So let's get them just moving. I mean, I'm going to move them all the way here if I can along the rail. I'm going to have this unit follow right behind, and that's just easy. You just click on the hex. I mean, when it's going down a road like this, now it wants to go out this way. It says it charts the best path. Okay, I believe you, game. I believe you. Uh, we're up to 38% on this bridge. The, the bridge to nowhere. Oh, we are into battle here. Uh, and we're actually not doing too great. And if we go here to the battle, how do I bring up the battle screen? Um, hold on, I'm going to check. If you wonder, it's got to it's got to fly up there so I can hit pause. One sec. Okay, I'm back. Uh, just kind of learning more about this game. Uh, look at this. So you know, sometimes with those board games, you get those nice laminated <laughs> kind of cheat sheets. Uh, so if you hit F1, you get this cheat sheet that shows you based on unit types who does what you know kind of damage in combat. So plus two tank versus infantry or artillery. Tank versus protected infantry, you know, so it's infantry plus tanks and AT is a plus one. Uh, minus five, tank versus anti-tank. Well, that's not good. Plus two, infantry against artillery. Minus two, infantry against protected anti-tank. Okay, and then you see the different terrain types. So it's all based on these different modifications. You've got pluses and minuses depending on where you are. Artillery strikes, minus three artillery versus artillery, minus one artillery versus anti-tank, and then you can see the different terrain, and then you can see here the movement, right? Then it tells you everything that you want to know about uh, the counters. So when you look at the counters, uh, airstrikes, Okay, you can see the airstrikes are actually not as good against artillery. They're better against the tanks. Terrain shifts based on um, airstrikes. The different hotkeys, all right? Then you can see this. So, wow, I mean, it really, it tells you everything you need to know. If you don't understand what's going on, you could do that. Now, I was looking at this combat screen up here, and if you hover over each battle, you can see what the different modifiers are. So the 11th against the, the 12th uh, BRS here, we've got a plus three soft attack factor. Why is that? Well, you look down here, we've got a three soft attack factor there. Uh, minus two soft defense factor. So if we look at them, their soft defense is a two when you add these two together. There's two units here. So if we if we go here, if we go here, uh, you can see defend two. Well, I guess it's the better of the two. Oh, no, it's just that one unit. It's the 12th O Batalonia Bersaglieri. Uh, sure, that's who that 12 BRS is up there, right? So their defense factor, soft defense is a two, soft unit versus a small fort or box, another negative two, and we're on a bridge, that's negative one. So it all works out to be a differential of negative two, and there's also multiple defenders. So that nothing about this attack is good. Uh, and so we're going to halt this attack uh, on both, you know, for both of our units, halt. Okay, so on the selected unit, let's split these two, all right, and let's halt you, and then if we split these two again, and we go to the rifle, let's halt that. So we're going to halt both. I think that should get them out of battle. I'm going to wait for this bridge to get built to cross the tanks over, because I do not want to mess with those anti-tank. We're reloading on the artillery. Okay, let's go to our airfield. We're reloading with the Blenheims and the recon aircraft. I've already given these units their orders to continue to move up the road. You can see there. And if we hold the space bar down, you can see all of our orders. And now this no longer has orders. Uh, can I then give it... I, see, I think I'm going to have to go to next turn before I can give this a new order. But let's see if that's true. Can I move past here? Uh, no, I can't. Okay. Can I do it? Nope, can't do it. Uh, okay, well, let's do next turn. 
let's hope we don't get torn up here because we are taking losses here, certainly. And you can see the time start here. See ourselves moving down the road there. We're still in combat here, which makes sense, right? We were locked in combat, and it looks like maybe, is that withdrawing a bit? Six, oh, and by the way, you can speed this up if you want. I'm just taking it slow um, to watch everything go down. This is one of the best game systems I've ever seen. Uh, I know I keep, you know, they're they're not paying me to say that. Believe me, I, I, I mean that honestly. Uh, it's really, really nice. I really like it. So it's now 653. You can see we now have an air unit that's ready to go again. And we'll go look at our losses here in a minute. Uh, on the loss screen. What else do we have here? Detach. That's to the uh, command, right? Minefields, target, split, halt. So hopefully now that we halted, I'm hoping we can break off this attack uh, because that anti-tank is really tough against us. And also because he's in this, you know, box, as they call it here in the game, really tough to take on. All right, so our guys are moving, you know, pretty briskly down the road here. Uh, the Artie, let's uh, hold down. Okay, so they, and you can see how far they've advanced there and how far that's advanced. Uh, this artillery, we need to still bring up the road more as we come around. Uh, awesome. Can we fire the artillery again? We can. You can see that here. Let's actually go for the softer target. We've got a range of six. One, two, three, four, five. Let's start hitting this back here because it's not nearly as good uh, against the anti-tank. And how do I know that? Well, let's bring it up. Artillery strike. Artillery versus artillery is a negative three. It's a negative one artillery versus anti-tank. Well, that's actually not that bad, but he's in a box. It's He's in a small fort or a box, which is another negative two. Um, and so, I mean, that's giving us a negative three. There's also a luck component. Well, that's cool. Okay, so you get a, a dice roll uh, for a luck component. I like that. Okay, artillery. Let's fire, and let's fire right there into a soft target. We're 63% in building here. I'm actually going to move the tanks then down this way so they're ready to cross this pontoon bridge uh, when it gets built. These units still locked in con. I don't think we can get out of their zone of control. I cannot give that a move order. And so uh, we're just going to have to keep assaulting it uh, until we can get across here and take, you know, get into the side with both the infantry and the tanks. We'll get around here to the side. Uh, here, yeah, we're just going to come up here and then we're going to start trying to take out the minefield. Same there. This artillery. We want to give it a move order to move up the road. I don't know if we'll go all the way here, right? But we do want it to go up to there. Um, road. Is this a different elevation? I'm just curious if these are elevations. It's hard for me. I don't really think it is. Uh, you could see we could actually, is there a bridge up here? We probably should have built like a bridge here maybe or, you know, here and come around this way, but that's all right, that's all right. Uh, let's go to the airfield. Uh, the Blenheims are ready to go again, and this time, let's hit, let's go to the Blenheims. We're on there, let's do a strike, and let's hit this uh, right here. So it's now got a mission, uh, perfect. Man, I like this. Uh, okay, next turn, let's see what happens. We're losing. Oh, I was going to show some of the losses. Oh, that's supply view. We don't need that. We did get resupplied, right? Because it said our, e, our um, let's go to supply view. Uh, ETA, one more turn. Well, that makes sense because we're pat. This is now turn three, right? Uh, one, two, yeah. So one more until it checks to make sure we're in supply. Uh, yeah, so you can see if we hold this down every way that it, we're getting supplied there. And now this, are these guys not going to be in supply? Let's hit this. Well, it wants to go up this way. So it's possible. Yeah, we're seeing only one more turn there. Is there another way we can get supply 
down this way. It may be out of range. Huh. Okay, well, we're learning. We're learning. Um, no link. Why are you not linked? Let's link you. Detach, attach. The Highlanders maybe can't attack. Well, this is back there. Uh, let's split these. Split here. Am I not able to do that? Split. Let's go here. Huh. Do they have to move with these guys? Okay. Well, we'll figure it out as we go. Uh, let's go ahead and go to next turn. And there goes our airstrike coming out here, trying to hit this anti-tank. Um, we may also want to then, you know, hit the artillery later here in the day. We drop bombs there. I would think there's got to be some way you can see a, a summary of what happened. You can see we're now move, you know, continuing to move up the road here. You can see he is, those two are split. That's what that means. Our source is Helwyn. Uh, but it's not making a cross the bridge, which I find very interesting. But it does show that we're back in supply. Oh, it, it, maybe it is. Yeah, we're in supply view. It is going all the way out here. Okay, well, hell's fire. I just didn't see it on the one screen. Let's take the supply view off. Everybody should have been supplied. You can see here, these guys are not in great shape certainly their morale is clicking down and that's really what you want to look at 31 i think i made a tactical blunder um uh, yeah our morale is really getting hit here we got to get this bridge built well we did bomb here it's now our turn again uh so we should not have targeted these guys <laughs> we should have tried to go around them uh but you live and you learn Let's try to split these two. Can I get them out of here now? No, I don't think I can halt uh, because they're locked in battle. Okay, uh, we need you. We need you, Pontoon Bridge. Uh, this is on a reload now. We go to the air. The Blenheims are reloading, but we can run more recon. Let's just run it straight over the objective again. Whoops. Go back out here. Click on the recon. And there we go. We're going to target that. Uh, it's still got two of three. Oh, I've got to do it now. Duh. Okay. Fairy recon. Well, you got to hit on that and make it red. Now you see the, the bullseye. So let's run that out here again. Let him run that recon. We may as well run as. And you can see the morale here just clicking away. No! Uh, okay, this is reloading. These guys are coming up here. We now have these units. They are in supply. And if we go to supply view, you can see two and two now. So they are in full supply. We look down here, eight of eight, four of four. So they've got full supply. Now, one of these units then we want to start removing the minefield. And so I, you know, I don't think it really matters. Uh, are they split? I believe they are. It says they are, uh, the Cameron Highlanders. Why can't I attach? Oh, I did just attach them. make sure that's true yeah now they're in the fourth indian division okay uh i must have hit a button there at some point but now i want to actually split them which is a different concept right it means you're not doing everything with the whole stack let's have the highlanders for whatever reason i don't know are highlanders good at taking out uh mines why don't we go this way all right so they're starting to clear now it said it may take a whole day to clear that mine uh, I don't think I want a kill zone right there, right? So why don't we then go to the other unit and use some of its my Oh, it's only got one day. And use some of its mine clearing ability. And then this unit, I think the 4th, 7th Raj, let's go right there. And then once it gets here, we'll start clearing that mine. We can also, the artillery, our range is 6. Well, if we want to start uh, hitting here with artillery, 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six. He really only needs to come to about right here. Um, let's bring him all the way up to this road junction, though. How about that? That looks good. Let's also go ahead and put in a target. Let's really try to destroy this guy here. Did that work? Hold on. Artillery. Now let's do target. Uh, I don't think it's going to allow me to target anything. 
Yeah, see, it won't because we're not within range yet. Okay, so we're going to go there. We've got the recon going. Blenheims are reloading. Artillery still reloading. It's got one more fire today. Uh, we've almost got the bridge built. These guys are in trouble. These guys are in real trouble. Oh, I forgot to look at the losses. Whoops, that's supply. F5, there we go. Okay, so we obviously haven't taken the objective. We've taken 218 casualties. Uh, the Italians have taken 144 casualties, so they're beating our, our butts right now. Two AT guns we have taken out out of 33. Okay, and let's go to next turn. Here goes our recon, just making sure, and you can see this starting to, to uh, clear. We see the tank back here, the tank group. And we're just going to start clearing here with this group as well. I think that should double the speed. I mean, I don't know why it wouldn't. Um, you can see our morale slipping away here. Now, I'm not sure what they'll do. If they route, you know, they can go back and recover. That's what we read last time. Um, you can see that. Rec God, I love WeGo games. This is awesome. Okay. Uh, let's hope they don't route before we can get across this bridge. We can see, actually, the infantry has disengaged. We only see the 11th up here still in this fight. Uh, I, I, I can't lose a tutorial mission. What the hell? Let's go. Uh, that's fun. That just makes it fun. You can tell I don't cheat, right? It's like I, you know, oh, what is this? Why is his morale all the way down? Oh, this is that rifle group. Okay, so now he is routed. There you can see the infantry has routed and they're just, they're like going to run back across the bridge. Now, hopefully they'll re uh, gather themselves here, right? But now that has gone across. All right, let's now, let's look at our airfield. You can see it's yellow. So we're reloading and the recon is on a mission. Okay, artillery, it is now ready to fire again. So let's do that and we'll hit the soft target if we can't. So I always like to do artillery first, which means we should also go down here. That can now start to target Italian units. And let's hit that same unit and really try to disrupt this right in front of the objective. Uh, the 11th is going to get knocked back out of here, but that's okay. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, they're both attached to 7th Armored Division. That's great. It does have a command range of 8. Is that true? Is that yeah, it's got a command range of eight. I was looking at that three, but that's not what that is. That's its damage factor, right? And this is how many more firings it has today. Uh, we're down to zero. So we're going to have uh, shot all of our arty out of this gun anyway, but its command range is eight. So we're well within that. Let's come to this and let's split these units. We don't want them to move together. And let's start moving this infantry here and here and i want the infantry there now i mean we would be vulnerable to a counterattack, but i'm hopefully hopefully this infantry will come back or reorganize itself also the 11th will probably just you know drop back there and reorganize well i'm glad i built this bridge now now let's take the royal tank and move it here i do not want that to go by uh the anti-tank though i don't really know what the range is but I know this, I don't want to be right next to it. And there, see, I just hold down control and then you can draw it, okay? And so I'm going to go just bust into these guys if I can. Why not? We've cleared this 25%. So it's going to take four total turns, three more to go there. Uh, these poor guys. I, oh, he can retreat. Okay, so we're going to retreat him out of here. I don't want him to be any part of that. This is going to come back. Okay, that all looks fine. We're clearing there. We're firing here. I don't think we get any reinforcements. Oh, look at this. Now you can see the routed. Awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, I think we've done everything we can do. Let's go to the next turn. So hopefully the... Yeah, the 11th disengaged, all right? They were about to rout anyway, so they've disengaged. Now, here comes the tank group. We've also got artillery fire happening there. Okay, 
the Royal Tank Regiment. The first is moving around here. You can see our two routed units have fallen back. The infantry is going to come up here. I don't even know if I'll engage them. They come at it at such a disadvantage. Now, at least we're not going to be on a bridge, right? We should have built the bridge in the first turn and just waited, but I'm not that, uh, I'm not that patient. Uh, <laughs> look at these guys. They're like, nah, we're out of here. Well, we'll see you next war. Uh, see you back in Europe, guys. Uh, <laughs> well, hopefully they reform themselves. All right, it's our next turn. It's now 10 hundred hours. Uh, we've got this clearing now at 50%. All right, Royal Tank Regiment, we've got the artillery. We've fired everything we can fire here, right? Used for the day. So the artillery is done. We also have a group. Now the Blenheims can get back in the action. Let's go ahead. Oh, I keep doing that. Not that it's not intuitive. It should be. You got to hit that first. Let's bomb the anti-tank again if we can and start trying to take more and more of that out. Uh, if this ever reforms, we'll come just kind of block here so we do, they don't come after our artillery. Uh, we could always move this infantry around. Now we're in the hex next to it. You can see here uh, against the one group, we have a zero differential. Against this group, we're negative one. You can see the effectiveness against each group. We only get 100%, right? Uh, because we're up against multiple defenders. We've you know, moved across the bridge. The Royal Tank here is now engaged, and I'm going to make sure we're engaged. Uh, yep, we're engaged there, and so we're going to try to take these guys out. Now, what does that look like? You can see one Royal Tank. Uh, wow, okay, so we have no differential there. Let's click on that unit and go up and look why that is. Plus four soft attack factor. Oh, minus two soft defense factor, minus three tank against a small fort or box. Well, gosh darn it, I went right into a fort again. Well, that's what happens when you're new to a game and you don't think such things through. Luckily, we got a plus one luck this time. Well, we may need it. Uh, these guys, we want to keep the artillery firing, but right now it's on reload. We're still clearing. I think we're all good. Let's move on to 1100 hours. And I've found a new game to play here. We're going to figure this out. I think we'll play El Alamein, which is the scenario that comes with the demo, because I'm going to want to play a lot more of this game, quite frankly. Um, okay, we bombed there. Before next time, I'm going to figure out how we can go see all of the combat results. There's got to be a way you can pull it up, and it can't be just losses. Uh, I would assume each battle we should be able to pull up. Maybe I'll read the rule book too. It always, you know, helps, I found. All right, uh, 1046, 1047, 1048. I guess, you know, maybe I could speed these up. Can you do it on the Wego? Can you speed him up? Oh, he's moving his infantry out. Good job, AI. Uh, interesting. Well, he's going to move it back. He thought about it. He got out on that bridge. I actually, that probably would have worked well for us in the sense that uh, this is, you know, was made it tough to get across here. Now we've got the Royal Tank involved. Uh, you can see our morale clicking down, but I'm sure his is as well. We've almost got this cleared now. So we should be able to move on to the objective. We've got nothing to do with the airfield. Used, the Blenheims have run their three missions for the day. Uh, the recon is reloading. These two units have not reformed yet. This artillery's fired everything. This infantry, <clears throat> we're already locked in battle here. We actually have a plus one differential against the 2CC, which if we click on here, this, <clears throat> excuse me, I think is the anti-tank, right? Yeah, we routed, we routed the 12th. That's why it moved here, it routed. You can see here in red, uh, and so it's going to get out of here, and then we should be able to overrun the anti-tank. Uh, this, how's this going? Well, it's hard to tell how it's going, really. Uh, like I said, differential zero. We've almost got this cleared. Can the already fire again? It can. Uh, why don't we start trying to soften that up now? I think the tank should be able to take that out, the Royal Tank Regiment. Let's go next turn. We're not, we don't have any supply problems in this. There's no way we're going to really get cut off. I mean, I guess the Italians could come here, uh, but that seems uh, very unlikely in an introductory scenario. So, you know, the supply system is really nice, though. I like it. 
I want to see if these guys reform or how they reform. Oh, again, I wanted to look and see. Yeah, now we've routed the anti-tank as well. So we finally got rid of all that. Holy mackerel. Um, that was tough because it was in this box, which gave it a plus three. Uh, so was this. Yeah, I should have gone around this with the tanks, but uh, maybe we'll disengage if we can. Get the infantry here, and now the these minefields are going to be cleared. That's awesome. We also now can run another mission with the recon, it looks like. We may as well. Why not? Let's go recon and, you know, just I kind of want to figure out where that tank group is, the Italian tank uh, armor is. Uh, this artillery could actually move uh, up a little bit. We may as well put it in this urban area. Has this reformed? Nope. See, uh, when it's routed, I can't give it movement orders. Uh, but now the infantry is across. And let's, um, let's move these as a group. That's fine. You can see it's not split. I'll move these two here. I'll just give it an order to go into that hex and give this an order to get into that hex. Artillery's reloading. Uh, Royal Tank Regiment. Well, this is certainly going to help when these guys get here. Now this infantry, I'm going to have come down the road and try to take that. And I think we're good. Let's go next turn. Recon takes off again. And maybe we'll find these Italian armor out here. There it is again. You can see the routed Italian units going up the rail. Okay, now you can see that battle's been joined, and we can see we're a negative one there. Royal Tank, negative one. <clears throat> we're a negative three on both of these here. Again, that's because he's in that fortification. Uh, I like that. We got to watch out here because the tanks could, you know, obviously the armor could strike back there. I'm trying to surround this and then just kind of overwhelm him here if we can. All right, it's our turn again. You can see the Royal Tank Regiment starting to get a little ragged. Can we halt that? No. Can I give it a move order? I can. Let's back that up. Uh, sure. When we look at the tank groups, you know, he's at a 49 morale. So we could back that up. Okay, attack soft, attack hard, defense, movement. I was wondering, do these tank regiment, does it have a range? Uh, this is defense movement. Let's go to F1. Movement. Defense factor. Black versus soft. Red versus hard. Range. Oh, that's artillery strike. Attack factor hard. Okay. This is artillery only. Black motorized. Red mechanized blue foot. Okay, I'm just trying strength number of companies, attack values. Okay, just wondering if the uh, tanks had some kind of range. You know, could we back off uh, at all? Um, I mean, I'm going to back off either way, but I don't see a range. Uh, when we look at the artillery, here's the range, right? Uh, but it's attack factor hard when we're looking at a tank regiment. Okay, so we're going to back that off, and we're just going to let our infantry try to take care of this. We're a negative one there, and we're a negative three here. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is this also... Okay, we've engaged there. Could I move here? Yeah, with both of these guys? I think I want to do that. Let's stop attacking this three. Let's get here. If we look at this terrain, I think it's fine. Uh, he's not. We knew if we go F4, right? Oh, that is also a box. Okay, so they start to entrench automatically. Well, I'm going to cancel that then. Let's keep going here. Um, these guys have not reformed. This artillery cannot fire. This artillery can fire. Oh, we can see that infantry is routed. So let's continue to hit this infantry there. And then, 
yeah, let's let these guys just get blown out here. I think once that routes out, we'll take this infantry up against the artillery. If we go F1, uh, infantry against artillery, we get a plus two for that. Okay, is there anything else? Now, they've used all of their missions for the day. The recon's still out here, but you can see zero of three, zero of three. Let's go next turn. See the artillery hitting there. Uh, Royal Tank Regiment backs up. Maybe we'll let the morale kind of get a little better there. Let these guys rest up a little bit. It's, they've been going since 4.30 in the morning, for goodness sakes. This brave band. All right, 13.40. Still haven't reformed here, although you can see in white, I'm starting to think, you know, that's counting back up until they'll be reformed, which uh, this is good. I wouldn't want them to reform too fast, right? I mean, usually you would think a unit like that completely breaks down. It may take a day or so. Uh, that would make sense to me. All right, it's our turn again. And now we're going to go straight here after the artillery. Now, the Italians have not seem to want to get uh, their armor involved. I don't know if they're scared of us. They probably should be. Okay, so that's now used for the day. We have no reformation there. That's used for the day. Let's just go on an all-out attack and see if we can go ahead and win this scenario. Boy, I've learned a lot here. Uh, the entrenchment really, really does a number, which makes... Oh, no, we've routed. We've routed. He's now routing out of here. Well, we've got to take this last hex, and we will have taken the objective. All right, we're moving up there. I would hate for the tanks to uh, route. See the time clicking by, 1,437 hours, 38. So yeah, they fall back to the, this is a great system. And you can see this is increasing. So I, I guess that's, you know, how long, and we'll see overnight. Well, I don't know if we're going to see it in this scenario, but I assume overnight, maybe that goes a little faster or at least, uh, well, I guess there's, you know, going to be eight hours or so where that's all they're going to be doing. So overnight, maybe they'll almost fully reform. Let's see what these battles look like. We're a negative one there. We're negative ones here, but we're just going to try to overpower them. We're also taking on this artillery where we're a plus three. And you can see why. Uh, soft factor plus three, soft defense factor minus two, but we're infantry against artillery. Altogether, that gives us a plus three. This negative one, you can see, you know, tank versus a small forwarder box. Negative two versus soft defense, and plus four, though, for the soft attack factor. Uh, it shouldn't be long before we start to take this morale down. We can see, just because of fog of war, we can see it's fair. Uh, oh, also, it's now locked us into battle here as well, and you can see our morale really went down. So let's actually target, can we do that? Can we target there? Well, we're just locked in battle with both. So we're in a plus two there. His morale is down to 32, though, because he's being attacked from two sides. The morale here is down to a 44. Luckily, these guys are doing the business, right? Uh, they have not reformed. We have nothing left to fire artillery-wise. We've got no planes left. Let's just go next turn. And we're getting up to, you know, uh, into the afternoon, certainly. Right, that routed unit out. His this morale was fair before. Let's see if we can break them. Gosh, I hope we break them this turn. Otherwise, we're gonna have a route there. Learned quite a bit. Of, yep, there it routed. So now it's gonna it's up to these guys, and let's hope he doesn't move the tank in uh, the armored group because I'm not sure we can take him out. He's now morale low. 
let's hope he breaks here before the hour mark as we come up on 1600 hours he does not he's still on low okay nothing's reformed um, I think we can just hit next turn there's nothing new to do uh, one thing we can look at though you know the supply that all still looks fine uh, F3 Oh, that takes out the routed units. Interesting. F4 takes out all the units. F5, you can see here, allied casualties. We've taken 753. The Italians have taken 659. We've also taken out three artillery guns. We've taken out five AT guns. We've lost 16 tanks, for goodness sakes. Okay. All right. Let's uh, just go on to the next hour here and see if we can route this and then take the objective now it tests it at the end of the day <clears throat> so i assume we're going to have to be holding this at midnight you know 2359 this is a great great system I, I can't say enough about you know how much i like this um I, you know, I, had, I saw that this was coming out. Uh, I think I saw it on a Facebook page or something, and I was like, oh, I should try that out. That looks pretty cool. Uh, and this is one of the best combat systems I've ever seen. Now, are we going to go tank on tank? I don't know why the AI, you know, it's a training mission, right? So the AI hasn't moved its armor. It should have. Uh, I, I think it, it really would have had us on the ropes uh, at that point. But that's okay. I'm going to claim this a victory, certainly. Uh, 1,700 hours. Let's move the armor in there. And I want to move it in with one infantry. So let's split these guys. Uh, morale's back up to 96 for the... Um, Camerons and let's move the Rashputana rifles. Let's move them over here. So we'll have one infantry go in there with the armor. Uh, we have nothing left there. I mean, there's just nothing left to do. You can see starting to rebuild back, trying to reform. I really like that system where it takes a certain amount of time to reform as opposed to, well, it could just happen next time if you're in command range. Uh, on we go. Speaking of command range, Yep, everybody's in command. Back here with the artillery. This has got a command range of eight. That's plenty. So let's see if we can go take this objective. And indeed we do. So now the Brits have taken this objective. And we'll have one infantry sit with them. We will also be in a you know box here, right? So these were built up fortifications, I do believe. Let's see. Okay, we haven't engaged there yet. As a matter of fact, why don't we just put these guys in here? Because they're in battle. They're in negative one now with the Italian armor. Surprise, actually, it's not worse than that. Where are you going, mister? Uh, are we getting attacked there? Yeah, we're good. This is a tank battle. The infantry said, no, I'm out. And now he routed. Oh, my goodness. Now our tanks have routed. Well... Let's move the infantry back in there. He's routed, and I'm going to move... I uh, can't get him out of there. Well, I can disengage. I think that's what I'll do, and then bring him around. Artillery can't fire. Nothing else to be done here. Uh, but our tanks have now routed. If we go to F5, we lost 21 tanks. The Italians have lost two, but five AT guns, four artillery, 789 to 804. Uh, I mean, he's certainly gotten the best of us here. Uh, let's go to 1900 hours. So he's routing out. Let's try to get this infantry back up here. And then I'll, this infantry, we disengaged from that battle. We may get into another battle here. We'll see. We technically hold the objective and now the artillery wants to get into it with us. Okay. Uh, you can see here, we are plus five there. Soft attack factors plus two. His defense is negative two uh, against us. That makes it equal. But then infantry against artillery, we're plus two. Soft attacker is in a small fort or box, which is a plus two. And we got a plus one luck. So we should take this artillery out pretty quickly, I would think. Um, fine. It's almost 1,900 hours. Love the Wego. 
And now I'm going to draw this with control because I want this to go like that. Oh, not like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll have him go around like that. That looks good to me. Nothing else we can do here. Let's go next turn. All right. Uh, major victory. Well, was it really? I, okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hold the heavyweight title. Uh, certainly, other things I would do there now that I kind of understand the system. 847, 935 for the Italians. Uh, they also lost two tanks. We lost 21 tanks. Ooh, we lost five AT. Or they? I'm sorry. They lost five AT guns and six artillery. 15% uh, significant losses. These must really add up. 6% uh, minor losses for us. Uh, but we did hold the objective at the end of the day, which is uh, sunset. It told us it was 1,905 hours, right on 1,900. That's when the scenario ended. Wow. I really, really like this. Tutorial 3. What's that? Now I want to play it again. In the last tutorial, you'll be given one day to capture El Alamein from the reduced and entrenched German armored division. You will use that. Okay, well, we're going to play it. I'm going to play it on the channel. I enjoyed the heck out of this. Uh, great job on this system. If developers watch this, uh, when we come back next time, uh, I'll be better. I'll be better. But we still won. We still won. That's all that's important, right? It's a W. I'll talk to you next time. Strategy Gaming Dojo. Have a great one.